Since 1993, the North Carolina Zoo has been involved with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and other U.S. zoos to help save one of North America's most endangered species, the red wolf. Their numbers reduced by loss of habitat and hunting. By the 1970s, fewer than 30 red wolves remained in the wild. But a U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service program that included captive breeding in zoos helped bring the species back. Now the only wild red wolves are found in the Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge in eastern North Carolina. Zookeeper Kelly Murphy tells us about the current status of the red wolf and the NC Zoo's role in the recovery program. The red wolf's range starts it basically in Texas, goes all the way down to Florida and all the way up to Pennsylvania. They were brought to the brink of extinction because farmers thought that they were going after their livestock. In the early 1980s, the Point Defiance Zoo, along with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife and the American Association of Zoos, started rounding up the last of the red wolves and they started a rehabilitation program. And now to date, over 42 different zoos and institutions house red wolves. We now have nine. We have two different pairs right now that are here for breeding. In 2002, we had two pups that were born here. Since then, both of those pups have successfully integrated and a few years later went on and had pups themselves. They're a very shy species and we wanna make sure that we still keep them wild because that's the best part about them. By educating the public through our Red Wolf exhibit and supporting the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service program, the North Carolina Zoo is helping bring the Red Wolf back from the brink of extinction. If you'd like to learn more, visit our educational website at fieldtripearth.org. I'm Rod Hackney reporting for the Zoo Files, connecting your life to wildlife.